Hey, how's it going? I'm Scott Helen from French and a Punk, and I'm doing my uh, fourth vinyl video. Today, it's the Metal Records. Uh, I already did the 7-inch uh, punk rock hardcore singles, like uh, Minor Threat and 7 Seconds and all that. I did the 12-inch punk rock records, Ramones, Discharge, all that stuff. Today's Metal. Um, let's see. All right. We'll start right off. Can't talk too much about each record, but... Start off with Deep Purple's Burn. Good record. Thin Lizzy. Thin Lizzy Jailbreak. Thin Lizzy Fighting. Then we go on to the Sweet. Look on this Sweet record. What record? When is this from? 73? It's got a little, uh, can you see that right there? A little, uh, some British steel going on there. A little razor blade. I wonder where they got that. Who else got that? Uriah Heap. Abominog, I think I bought this uh, record for the cover. I didn't know what it was when I was a kid. I don't remember what it is now. Raging Slab. These are kind of out of order, but that's all right. You know, uh, This is from 87 uh, by our records, New Jersey label. This was a New York City band that we kind of I knew for a little while. Good kind of grunge band. Uh, the Rods. Mace. I bought this because my brother Viz had a band called Mace before this, and these guys came out with a band called Mace. They're from the West Coast. Sabotage was big for a little while. Another Sabotage record. Sabotage, Hall of the Mountain King. Great guitar player, passed away. Sabotage, The Dungeons Are Calling. There's a little bit of glare here, so it's going to be tough to see some of this stuff. But, you know, there's like a skull on it and stuff. Uh, Diamond Head. Kind of interesting artwork, kind of looks like a Yes a yes album cover there. Fire Down Under, Riot. Uh, these guys are actually a good, good, good band. Swords and Tequila, classic hard rock metal kind of thing. Or hard rock. Oz, I don't even remember what this is. The record's called Fire in the Brain. Yep. Grim Reaper, remember that? See you in my hell, my friend. That was big in, for like a week or two. Tokyo Blade, I have no idea what that is. I bought it though. This one's called Killer Shockwaves. Mm. Bass player's name is Spooky. Guitar player's name is Shorty. Huh. Um, Acid. This band's called Acid. The record's called Maniac. This is from uh, marketed by Mega Disc Music, Belgium. Belgium metal band. Demon Eyes. I'm starting out with a bunch of you know. I don't even remember what this stuff is. I don't know if it's any good. Mm. Wild Dogs. I think I bought this because I thought the cover was hilarious. It's like a dog ripping apart somebody. I thought it was funny when I was a kid. Maybe not so funny now, <laughs> but I still have it. I didn't get rid of it. Hey, you know, it's it's you know, it's metal. What do you want? What do you want? Halloween. Remember those guys? Yeah, I think they're back doing stuff. Warlock. That was Doro Pesh. She's a great singer. Uh, this band was called Satan. Uh, I don't remember that either. Uh, what's this? Steeler. This was Ingve Malmsteen's first band, I think. He might have had someone, something else, too. I don't remember what that's like. It's probably a lot of... Woo! Um, Tony McPalpine. This is a guy who was big in Springfield, Massachusetts. A wailing guitar player. I bought some of those Guitar Hero records at a certain point when I was learning bass and guitar. There's another one, Join Forces. These guys are a Connecticut band. Wailing guy Talus. This is Billy Sheen, the great Billy, bass player of Billy Sheen's band. Don't remember what it sounds like. Another Talus record. Another New York City metal band, Nuclear Assault. Denny Lilker from Anthrax and a bunch of other stuff. Obsession, Martial Law. Okay, when I was 16, that seemed kind of fun. Another Obsession record. I don't remember what that is. Grave Digger. This one's called Heavy Metal Breakdown. Blue Cheer. Came back for a little while and did a record with Megaforce. Sorry about the glare. Can you see this one's called Hell Comes to Your House? That was a punk rock uh, thing too. This one has uh, Man of War, Exciter, Anthrax, Earthshaker, Hellion, Loudness, Metallica, Hellstar, The Rods. Ugh. Band called Alaska. Hmm. Heavier than Boston, I guess. Power Trip. I don't know what label this is on. 1983. St. Vitus, classic SST band, SST record. Uh, this probably came out. It's produced by Kadena. Hmm. Kadena, Carducci, Spot, St. Vitus, I mean. <laughs> Great record. 
Flotsam and Jetsam. We all know what happened to Flotsam and Jetsam. Itro. Uh, I played with these guys somewhere in, I think it was in uh, Pittsburgh when I was playing with School of Violence. These guys are pretty good. I don't know what happened to them. Agent Steel. It's kind of a rare record. It's on combat. Probably big for a little while. What does it say? 1984. What does this say? I purchased this in uh, August 24th, 1986. Can you see that there? Yeah. I say this in all my other videos. Uh, I used to write down all the dates of records to keep track of, I don't know, when I bought them. I think my dad told me to do that and I thought it was a good idea. This one's called Nasty Savage. Looks kind of like a cheesy record. <laughs> Hellstar, Burning Star. I like the word star. Another one on combat, the combat label. Abattoir. Combat records. Thrust Fist Fell High. That's on Metal Blade. A classic Metal Blade record. Black Lace. This was like a New York City metal band. I don't know if that sounds like another Black Lace record. It's hard, kind of hard to find those things. Northwest Metal Fest. This one had, uh, let's see, do I know any of these bands? Nope, that band Mace is on there. Metal Church. Okay, that's the classic band off this record. Um, New York Metal 84. Kind of a cheesy cover. This guy's uh, in diapers and some girl has a whip and so there's candles around. Uh, band's called Cities on there. Remember them? Virgin Steel, Death Slayer, Overkill. Classic. Overkill. Oh, well, this is a Chet Atkins record. I don't know why this is in here. This is a cool guitar though. It looks like an old Gretsch. Yeah. All right, we'll put that aside. That's for my... Uh, other videos, you know, I got, I got some jazz records, some cool jazz records, some funk Bootsy Collins records, but that's a whole other thing. All right, back to the metal. Speed Kills, the very best in speed metal. Possessed, Exciter, Venom, Voivod, Megadeth, Celtic Frost, Slayer, Metallica, Bulldozer, Destruction. Cool. Let's see when I bought this record. Uh, can I tell? Yep, it says 1027.85. So I was buying punk rock and metal records, anything that was fast, loud, heavy. That's what I was kind of uh, attracted to, the feel and sound of that kind of stuff. Some of this was good, some of it not so good. Uh, Speed Metal Hell, a collection of 12 tracks by 11 bands. At War is on there. Whiplash. Um, this was put out, I don't know, 84, 85? Yep. Mega Vault. Overkill, Exciter, TT Quick. Raven, classic British band, Raven. Uh, Born to Metalize, so these are a bunch of compilation things. Born to Metalize, uh, I don't recognize any torture. There's a band called Tortured Dog. Well, that's not good. You don't want to torture dogs. Fuck that. Uh, Metal Massacre, out by uh, on uh, Metal Blade Records out of LA. They did a bunch of classic compilations. This one had early version of Metallica's Hit the Lights on here. Malice was on there. Malice was a good band for a little while. Metal Massacre 2. I don't have Medical Massacre, Metal Massacre 3. 4. Who's on that? Um, Lizzie Borden. Warcry, Etro, Trouble. Trouble's good kind of savage, sludgy kind of band. Metal Massacre 5. Omen, Metal Church again. Final Warning, Hellhammer. This is a ridiculous cover. And the band's called Sad Iron. I don't know what this was about. There's lots of hell and fire going on there. Oh, it's Wasp. Wasp, another Wasp record, Live in the Raw, Wasp Last Command. First record is probably the best. Picture Disc Wasp, I Want to Be Somebody. Uh, Wasp, Inside Electric Circus. Ah, classic, here we go, some Priest, Judas. Um, this one, uh, Stained Class. Point of Entry, this is a different cover than the, usually you see the cover with the uh, desert, with like the, the computer paper going along to the desert. There's some classic stuff out in here. Heading out the highway, hot rocking. Some of that record uh, kind of sounds a little stonesy, like a, a, a metaled out stones. There's some different riffs on there. It's very different from the other stuff like the classic Screaming for Vengeance or Free Will Burning, yes. Um, Defenders of the Faith. Defenders of the Face single. What's this on this? This is a Free World bur Burning 12 inch single. Unleashed in the East. Look at that. Classic cover. Great. On the Harley. Turbo is a lot of mixed feelings about this record. I was a little bit like, huh? When it came out, but it's pretty good. Uh, Priest Live. Tom Malone. Ram It Down. Priest. Uh, this is their first record put out in 1974. Rockarola. These aren't in order, obviously. 
Uh, Judas Priest, this one's Sad Wings of Destiny. Uh, Victim of Changes, The Ripper. Classic stuff on there. Move on to the next, another classic metal band. Everyone has these records, right? <laughs> Iron Maiden. The, uh, this is the first record? Yes, it is the first record with Phantom of the Opera. Killers, one of the best Iron Maiden records out there. Made in Japan. Number of the Beast. Power Slave, one of the greatest metal records ever made. Yep. Peace of Mind, that one's really smoking too. Live After Death. All in a... Cool. <laughs> Somewhere in Time, Maiden. That's a great record, too. Seven Son of a Seven Son. Uh, and that's the last Maiden record. No, that's probably, I probably switched to CDs or something after that. This one is uh, Paul Diano had a band called Paul Diano's Battle Zone. Eh. Move on to another classic uh, German metal band featuring Michael Senker about UFO. It's the Scorpions with uh, Lonesome Crow. Oh, this is an interesting record. Oh, this is kind of a like classic cover of Scorpions. See the guy with bubble gum on the there and uh, yeah what well, records are uh, what songs are on this coast to coast that was a big one uh this record well it it came out one way but this is the cover they replaced it with because this is the one that's kind of hard to find it's uh this record's called virgin killer not a good choice for album cover there but uh this is kind of a cool 60s kind of cover actually this one early on i don't remember when this came out Looks like 76 Scorpions. Animal Magnetism. I had a lot of Scorpions records. Wow. I didn't realize I'd like them that much. Blackout. The first thing. That was one that broke them in the U.S. Scorpions were alive. Ah, this is a great, kind of underrated German metal band. Except Metal Heart. Except this one has like Lady Lou, uh, Hell Driver. Another Except record. I'm a rebel. That's kind of like sweet meets uh, priest meets ACDC. Really good. This one's Metal Masters. This is probably like a reissue of a couple of different records. Burning, Breaker, Starlight. This is probably one of the greatest metal records ever made. Absolutely restless and wild except. Uh, it's worth it uh, fast as a shark. Right there. It's definitely top 10 best metal songs ever. <laughs> Midnight Highway, Accept, Breaker. Uh, and then we move back into the United States with Anthrax, Fistful of Metal, uh, Metal Fashion Mad. Is that what's on there? Yep. They do 18 on there? Huh, weird. That was on Megaforce Records. Megaforce changed the game. A lot of bands. Armed and Dangerous, Spreading the Disease, Among the Living, I'm the Man. Yeah, yeah. Anthrax, State of Euphoria. And we go back to uh, Europe with Merciful Fate, the beginning. Merciful Fate, Corpse Without a Soul. Merciful Fate, Curse of the Pharaohs. Classic. Another classic metal record. Merciful Fate, Melissa. Merciful Fate, Don't Break the Oath. Great classic cover there. Move on to King's other band, King Diamond. Fatal Portrait. No presents for Christmas. King Diamond doing a little Christmas theme song. Another classic, amazing metal record, Them. Abigail. I used to just stare at these records too and listen to them and just listen to them, listen to them, listen to them. I bought this at Main Street Records, Northampton. Let's see. It says Stay Heavy on there. When did I buy this? Does it say? Oh, you got to be kidding me. King Diamond, The Dark Sides. Ah, okay. So this is, this is jumping around a little bit, but that's all right. Black Sabbath, Heaven and Hell, one of the best Black Sabbath records, I think. Anyways, Sabotage. I have a weird uh, collection of Sabbath records. Pretty small. I have CDs too. Born Again. It's like I have all the ones that, you know, whatever. Uh, Blizzard of Oz, one of the first concerts I ever saw, besides the Ramones, was a Blizzard of Oz tour with Motorhead opening. Uh, Ozzy Osbourne, Diary of Madman. I did see Ozzy with Randy Rhodes. It was amazing. Bark of the Moon. Ultimate Sin, I think I stopped there. Moved on to uh, some Dio, Holy Diver. Pretty classic record. S Stand Up and Shout, it's great. Dio, Last in Line. Back to uh, the US and, uh, well, Dio, yeah, it's US too. Exciter, I think this is a Canadian band, right? Exciter, this one's called Heavy Metal Maniac. 
Violence and Force. What was the song? Everybody it was hilarious on here. Pounding Metal. Pounding Metal. Exciter. Long Live the Loud. Yep. Exciter. Feeling Nice. Exciter. Unveiling the Wicked. Back to New York with uh, Overkill. This is a classic rec Overkill record. Rotten to the Core. Fatal Swallowed. Rotten to the Feel Fire, Overkill. This was on Mega Force Records again. Did I write the date when I got this? Yes, I did. Overkill, Feel of Fire, 11 1986 Can you see that on there? Yeah, cool. After that, let's see. Main Seat Records, right? Overkill, Taking Over. Another okay, Overkill record. They had to sell this with black plastic because... Ah, everyone's afraid of that. Yeah, uh, see. Another overkill record here. This is called Under the Influence. Uh, Slayer, Haunting the Chapel. No, oh, sorry, Haunting the Chapel. That would be this record. This one is Show No Mercy. Classic with Hell Awaits. Hell Awaits is next. That's a classic record too. One of the best metal records ever made. Slayer, Raining in the Blood. Yep. This one is South of Heaven. This the cover looks different. Huh? The plastic's still on. I left the plastic on with the, like, the stickers on it and stuff. Does it say when I got this record? No. Def Jam Recordings. Another great record. This I have in here. This is a different band named Slayer from, uh, does it say? San Antonio, Texas. 1983 I bought this. Totally different band, Slayer. See that? Metal Church. Gods of Wrath. Great. Metal Church, The Dark. Uh, let's see. I do have a couple. Megadeth there. Uh, Peace cell. Tank. Tank. Tank was a great British metal band. Uh, this was the classic record, I thought. Filth Hounds of Hades. Shell Shock. Turn Your Head Around. Yep, really good. Tank. This Means War. Something from the Dam in there, right? Another Tank record. Uh, back. To California with Armored Saint. This was Delirious Nomad. Uh, Armored Saint, Raising Fear. I have uh, another mark, March of the Saint somewhere. All right, Raising Fear. Exodus, Fabulous Disaster. Exodus, Bonded in Blood, their first classic record on combat records. Exodus, this one is uh, Pleasures of the Flesh. They're probably talking about eating brains and stuff. Uh, uh, Voivod, this is a great Canadian band. Uh, come out, it came out on the Roadrunner label, 1984. Let's see when I bought it. Yep, Voivod, 1027, 1984. Classic. This was sort of an underrated band. They're kind of like a Judas Priest-ish band. Uh, Malice. They had a little bit of a glammy look. I think that's what kind of hurt them because they had more of a priest type metal sound. Trouble. I had another record by them earlier, right? Another Trouble single. Back to Europe with Destruction. Hellhammer. And then we get, of course, into Jump in the Fire single. Metallica. Ride the Lightning. I'm almost going to have to show these. It's like, oh, you don't have Metallica records. Kill them all. Creeping Death. Master of Puppets. Uh, all vinyl I bought back then. This is, uh, yeah, the Grudge Days Revisited, or whatever it is. Is it Revisited? I can't even tell. I don't know. And Justice for All. Blackened! This! One of the greatest metal records ever made. Venom. This is classic black metal to Helen back. Raise the Dead! Buried Alive. I have two copies of this because it's so good. You have to have two. <laughs> um, Warhead. Warhead! They, uh, yeah, they influenced a lot of bands. I'm sorry, they did. Welcome to Hell. Welcome to Hell. It's great. Acid Queen, Venom uh, single, Acid Queen, and Bursting Out. Wow. Manitou. These records used to freak me out when I was a kid, but they are also freaked everybody out. And I, I like that. Eight, 1984 on the Neat Records label. Venom at War with Satan. That might have been the last record I bought from them. No, no. <laughs> Canadian Assault. They had lots of Assault records. As in, like, you know, Canadian Assault, uh, Belgium Assault, Brazilian Assault, uh, Alabama Assault. No, I'm just joking. Venom Possessed. 
Venom, the singles, the singles, yeah, hit hit songs, In League with Satan, Bloodlust, uh, Die Hard, that's a, that's a, that is a hit single, definitely, yeah. Seven Gates of Hell, oh, here's one, Venom, American Assault, let's see when I bought this one. Oh, it's got that plastic thing up. Nightmare with Satanic Christ, can it, uh, let's see, uh, Venom official bootleg with like a big beer can thing on the thing there. Old school beer top thing too. Oh, okay, I got this one. Venom Calm Before the Storm. Really weird, lame cover. Someone in the art department was sleeping that day. Um, another great British metal band that kind of got lost in the shuffle. Raven, this is a live record they did. Uh, Raven Mad, he's mad. The guitar player's mad because they signed to Atlantic in the late 80s and <laughs> cooked them. Um, Life's a Bitch. That uh, should be, you get signed to Le Atlantic Records and then Life's a Bitch, because they cooked them. Raven Rock Until You Drop, an older record on on, on the Neat label. Uh, this one came out in 81. Wow. Great record, Raven All For One. Gallagher Brothers, Raven Wiped Out. Cool, all cool show pictures and stuff. Also on the Neat label. Raven Crash Bang Wallop. Raven The Pack Is Back. Except Balls to the Wall, except this is a live record from Tokyo, I think. Pan, something like that. Um, Russian Roulette, classic German band. I kind of had some except records earlier. This, speaking of except, this is TT Quick here. Um, the singer of TT Quick went on to sing uh, with except after Udo Dirkschneider left. So that's kind of cool. He's got a new lease on life there. Still singing the metal. Um, Running Wild. It's a Judas Priest song. Uh, I think this is their best record called Branded and Exiled. I thought so anyway, it's really good. Um, but Running Wild, Gates of Purgatory, Running Wild, uh, Under Charlie Roger, kind of a pirate kind of theme, precursor to all the pirate stuff. I got some Twisted Sister records when I was a kid. I thought they were kind of fun. The first early stuff was really rock and roll, kind of good hard rock. Under the Blade, uh, You Can't Stop Rock and Roll. Stay Hungry with all the, ch the hits, are probably cheesy. Come Out and Play, not as good, but whatever. Testament, the le Legacy, uh, California Metal Classic. Uh, back to Man of War with, I mean Man of War. Voivod, sorry about that. Voivod with Roar. Classic, really cool artwork on this, these records too. There's the Man of War. It's the only re record I have by them, Fighting the World. Here's the Armored Saint that I thought I didn't have. It is March of the Saint. Great guitar player who has since passed on. Uh, this record came out super overlooked. I thought these guys were great. Rogue Mail is a great record. Maybe that's all they had in them was one good record. Uh, some people liked it. A lot of people hated it. I thought it was really good. Uh, I'm not going to do a critique on why or whatever. Queen's like early record. Queen's like what was that? It was uh, Lady War Black, all that stuff. Rage for Order. They're a pretty interesting band um, for a while. Queen's like Operation Mind Crime, classic Warning. Um, let's what else we got here? I just got a few more records. Oh, Girls School. And I had that because of oh Hawkwind. Gonna have that. That's not really metal, but. Girl, you have to have girls girl in there, um, and of course Motorhead. I have about a hundred Motorhead records and CDs, but I already did another video, so I'm not going to take up time in this video. Those are my metal records. Those are the ones I have. Um, yeah, there's some cool stuff in there. Weird records. I don't even know what some of the stuff sounds like. Thanks for watching. I'm going to do another video with uh, more records. God knows what. Maybe I'll do Bootsy Collins and Funk Records next. Thanks for watching.